do. Are you ready to rock? Am I ready to rock? Oh, you know I'm always ready to rock. <laughs> Why? Why didn't you tell me the camera was on, idiot? Hello, my name is Fu Manchu, and this is going to be a really fast review because me, Jack Black, and Matthew Broderick have tickets to see Soundgarden. Too soon? Shut up, I've got a time machine. Anyways, seriously, it's going to have to be a fast review. So today's review will be on the following. Today's review will be on this brown shipper box. Look at this. There's no logos or nothing on the side of this box. It's just a plain box. It's kind of strange. I mean, every other figure I got in this line had a big logo or something on the side of the box, so that's weird. The only print on this box is right here on the side, and it says, Description, Adventure Cartel, Rahel. And this one is for the Adventure Cartel, Rahel, Band, Cloven Heart. This guy is in the Adventure Cartel, but he's also in a band called Cloven Heart. Now, I think they made a mistake on this box, because as you can see, the little square where it would be checked off for Adventure Cartel Rail. It's covered over with another little piece of paper or something like that. That's kind of strange. It's almost like they checked that one and went, Oh, crap! It's for the other one. Oh, well, it doesn't bother me, man. That's still cool. So I say we waste no time since this box is kind of plain and open it up. What do you say? So, here's the box removed from the shipper, and we have the Cloven Heart Band logo right there, and the actual Cloven Heart drawing below it. Yeah, this is awesome, and something I could totally see on a concert shirt from the 80s. That is awesome. Below all that, we underneath the dripping blood, we have the name Rahel, and also Dragos Erephas. And I don't know if... If that's his other name, or if they're trying to conjure a devil or something like that by getting us to say it. I don't know, but that's still pretty cool indeed. Now, the front of the box is all kind of plain and black, except for the logo and the picture right there. And if you look at the side of the box over here, you will see Rahel's name and Dragos Erefest. Dang it, I'm still trying to summon that devil. And then down here, it's got the 3AA, which is 3A Anonymous, trying to tell me that I have a problem and I've been buying way too many figures lately. So let's look at the back of the box, shall we? So, here's the back of the package, and it says, Rahel, Dragos, Erefes. Dang it, guys, stop it, I don't want to summon a devil. And then down here, we have Rahel's silhouette looking awesome with his cloven art t-shirt on. And I like how his uh, sweatshirt is kind of like hanging down off of his shoulders. That's really cool, indeed. And then down here, check it out, we actually have a blurb on the character, and that is awesome. It says, Rahel is the lead singer of Christian devil-worshipping band, Cloven Heart, and member of the Adventure Cartoon. Cartel. But damn, doesn't he look like a Zom? None of the cartel seems to notice. Except Tommy. Adventure Cartel, and that is awesome! So let's go back to the front of the box, shall we? So, here's the front of the package for the very last time, and man oh man, I cannot wait to see this figure. Now this figure is actually the variant of the original version of Rahel that came out. The first version of Rael, he has white hair, and he's actually just wearing a 3A white t-shirt. And this one is the one I wanted because he's got the Cloven Heart band t-shirt. And I thought, if he's in the band, he needs to be dressed up like Kiss or something like that. You know, in his band attire and stuff, and that is awesome. This one looks really, really cool, and I can't wait to see it in person. Now, aside from this picture here on the front, there's actually one other picture on the very, very top of the box. So let's check it out, shall we? Now, this is definitely something I'd never seen on any of my boxes before, but man, I think that speaks for itself. So, I don't know if that makes it a subset or what, but apparently it's part of the storyline where they're on Robot Island or Robot Island exists, and that is awesome. So I say we waste no more time, and I say we open it! So, here's the box with the lid removed, and the first thing you see is a folded up poster, and that is awesome, yep. And they even printed on the inside of the box the little cloven heart symbol, and that's really neat indeed. So let's remove this poster and check it out, shall we? Although, this is going to be a really hard poster to show off, because man, oh man, this thing is huge. Seriously, I measured it. 14 and a half by 33 inches. This thing is gargantuan and blows the other posters away. I mean, it's a full body shot of Rahel all the way down to his sneakers. Man, this thing is huge. Now, there's no, uh, like, comic or anything on the back, no other poster or anything. It's just this, and that is awesome, but man, this would be really hard to frame because of the strange size. So let's check out the figure, shall we? So, here's the figure still in his plastic tray looking very zom-like, and man oh man, I love it. 
Below his head, you have his cloven heart t-shirt looking very awesome indeed. This figure has all the usual dirt and wear that 3A figures are known for, and man oh man, it looks awesome. Now, as you can see, he comes with no accessories whatsoever, but you know what? That doesn't bother me at all, and I can't wait to see him, so let's stand him up. What do you say? So, here's Rahel, fresh out of the package, looking awesome! Man, I've had this guy out for about three seconds, and I absolutely love the way he looks. He's so cool indeed. As you can see, he does have very much a zombie face, and that is so cool with his long, shaggy hair there. He has a hood up over his head that's all dirty. He's got his cloven heart band t-shirt, and that shirt looks amazing. Down below that, you have his uh, hands, which are unique. He's actually doing the little Motley Crue thing, and that is so cool indeed. He's got some short uh, pants or whatever right here that look really dirty. They look like cargo pants. And below that, he has his sneakers. Now, he didn't come with a stand, but they never do. So what do you think? Now, you'll notice that his ankles, he has like some paint rub. Now, I've heard that that's pretty common to these figures because I'm assuming it's just the shoes rubbing up against the ankles. I don't care because, I mean, seriously, if you're going to complain about paint rub with these figures looking as dirty and beat up as they already do, man, you got problems. But you know what? That's okay. He looks very awesome indeed, so let's pull his hood down, what do you say? So, here's the figure with his hood down, and he looks so cool! He's got some big old ears there, you can actually see his little teeth and stuff. I love his hair and stuff, it looks so good! It's so simplistic, but also very cool indeed. You can see his one eye right there shining through, and that is very cool indeed. And he actually has a little bit of drool running down his uh, lip there. Ugh. But you know what? That is awesome. He actually looks like he's wearing lipstick, too, on the top part of his lip, and that's cool. Like I said, this is what I consider what he'd look like on stage in the band, instead of, like, having the white hair and stuff like that, which would be him off stage. In my opinion, I don't know, maybe you see it a different way. And that's the greatest thing about these 3A figures. They say, make up the story that you want, and that's what I do, and that is awesome. Let's flip him around, shall we? So, here's the back of the figure here, and you can see his hood right there, which is really awesome because his hood is actually wired. Now, my Tommy Mission figure, I'm always trying to get his hood to hang over his eyes and stuff like that, kind of like Anakin from, you know, Revenge of the Sith, but it's not wired. So, uh, you know, it's always popping back off of his head and stuff, you know, because it's just a shirt and he just wants to, it doesn't want to stay there. And uh, this one actually would with the wire and stuff, and that's really cool. And I wish my Tommy Mission had a wire in there, but that's okay. You can see the back of his hair right there looking very cool and jaggedy, and I absolutely love that. Working our way down his dirty uh, Run DMC tracksuit there. That is really cool. They really like their tracksuits there at 3A, don't they? They put them on everything. You can see the little stripes are kind of like twisted around, so I'm going to have to adjust those, but that's okay. And then right down here, you can see his cool little Motley Crue hand there and his little Motley Crue hand there looking like... If a zombie threw up Motley Crue fingers, that's kind of what it would look like. Here, the back of his pants are all dirty. You can see his cargo pockets right there. And man, oh man, he looks awesome. And yeah, just like, you know, I heard before, there is some paint rub there. That's okay, seriously. It's all right. Like, you know, you just rub a little dirt on there and it goes away. But you know what? That is awesome. Let's flip him back around, shall we? So, here's Rael from the front one more time. And I was actually wrong. It actually did come with an accessory. Albeit, you know, pointless ones unless you break them. But he actually came with some extra wrist pegs. And that's pretty cool. And if you look, they're actually dirty and gray. Just like his skin. And that is awesome. So they'll fit perfectly. So I say we waste some more time and look at this guy up close. What do you say? So, here we go with a super duper close up look and starting with his shirt. You can see the cloven heart symbol right there. It looks like it's screen printed right onto the shirt itself. It's all dirty looking and that is awesome. Working our way up to his neck, you can see all the wrinkles in it and his skin itself is painted all speckly and that is very cool indeed. You got his little chin right there and his snaggly teeth and it looks like he's wearing lipstick on his upper lip and that is very cool. And if you look carefully in the right corner of his mouth, you can see he's actually drooling a little bit. So either A, he chews tobacco or something nefarious is going on. Maybe he just drools, who knows. And then over here you can see his eye. Now from far away, it looks like the upper part that's whiter color colored appears to be his eye and then the lower part that's black looks like you know eyeshadow or something like that but here it looks like the black part is his eye and the rest is just his skin but from far away like I said it almost looks like he's got a white eye with black mascara underneath it so that's kind of weird when you look at it up close it changes and you got his little nose right there and his long shaggy black hair very cool indeed now his hair is made of more of a pliable material some of it at least uh, some of it's a little bit harder. Some of the points are harder than others, so it's kind of strange how that worked out. And then you've got the speculate painted, you know, 
part of his hair here. That looks very cool. And his little ear poking out from his hair. That is awesome. Now, working our way down the side of him right here, you've got his hood. And then down here, you have his dirty tracksuit looking very cool indeed. And you got his uh, stripe going down so he can be in Run DMC later. And then down here, you have the uh, elasticated end of his sleeve. And then right here you have his Zom looking hand with the little Motley Crue fingers and that is very cool indeed. And if you look carefully you'll actually notice that his fingernails are painted black and that is awesome. Now the same exact thing goes for the right side of his arm over here. On the other side you got the sleeve and it's all dirty looking and then here's the back of his hand. And yeah his hands look like he might be a Zom but then again there's a lot of rock stars that have hands like this. And if you look at the inside of his hand, you got his fingernails right there looking very cool indeed. And I love the sculpt of this hand. Oh man, it's so awesome. Now, working our way down his uh, concert shirt right down here to his pants, you got his dirty looking cargo pants right here. They look more like, I don't know, culottes or something. I don't know, they're real short. And then down here, you've got his leg, which is all speckly painted. The skin, his entire body is painted like that. Everything about his body is painted like that, and that's pretty cool. Got his Adidas shoes right here, looking all dirty and stuff like that. Turning it to the side so you can see some more of the detail. You got the Adidas stripes right there. You got his shoelaces. Very cool indeed. And you got his little uh, exposed ankle joint right there. Now that's kind of ugly, but you know, these are toys. What do you want? But you know what? It's still pretty cool indeed. You can actually see some of the paint rub right there and the inside of his shoe. Now turning the figure to the back, you can see the back of his head right here with all the little jaggedy... Uh, hair hanging down. You can see the 3A is written on the back of his neck, and that's very cool indeed. Right here you've got his hood, which I love the fact that it's wired. That is so cool indeed. The back of his tracksuit right here with the little stripe. That is very cool too. And the back of the tracksuit is just kind of dirty looking. There's nothing really there. And then the back of his pants. He actually has some pockets underneath there, which is very cool indeed. And then the pocket here on his leg. And then going down to the back of his calf, you've got his ankle right there yet again. But yeah, I've been wanting this character, this figure, for quite some time. I didn't care which version I got. I preferred this one because I wanted him to have the uh, concert shirt, the uh, Cloven Heart shirt on. I thought that was a neater thing than just a 3A t-shirt because you get those with so many of the other figures. At least this one's specific to this figure. And man, oh man, I am not disappointed with it. I absolutely love it a lot. He is awesome. So, here's Rael with my current 1-6 scale Adventure Cartel figure collection, and man oh man does he fit in perfectly. This looks so cool indeed. Now, as you can see, he's still on the stand, so he's a little bit taller than he should be right here, but you know what? You can tell that he fits in really well, and I absolutely love it. So, there's my review of the 3A Adventure Cartel, Rahel Clovenheart, 1-6 scale figure, and man, oh man, is he awesome. Seriously, I like this figure a lot. I can't stop playing with him, and he looks so cool just standing there. This one and Soy Dolphin, I mean, I just got Soy Dolphin recently, and man, they are just so cool. And they're pretty simplistic figures, but man, I love them. Just like Gangster's Kingdom, I haven't been disappointed with any of these 3A figures, and I can't wait to see who's next. So, until next time, tune in for more Foo Reviews! <laughs> come on, Thuzzbug, come on, come on. Guess what? I've got one more ticket to Soundgarden. Come on! Notice I said one more ticket to Soundgarden. <laughs> Gub's left can't go. He has to babysit the ninja. <laughs> hey, this is Nolan North. You don't want to miss Foo Reviews. And I'm out! Uh, Foo? Yeah, Troy Baker. Again, calling you. <laughs> uh, gotta pick up. You know, call. You know, when, when a call comes in, it's, uh, I mean, I, I, don't, I, I don't mind leaving messages. I, I don't, but... Love a call back. This is Troy Baker again. The guy from the games. Just in case you've forgotten. So, I guess what I want to...